anybody and everybody, even if you don't fight, we can get in the gym, I can get you to my fitness. But if your mind is not of an understanding of where it has to be, it means nothing. Well, there was uh, one of my favorite videos that I watched during that period for the Logan Paul KSI fight was actually you and Joe Weller mm. talking about the fight and how it would work. And you were li literally taking yeah. him through it. And he was, it, he was loving that. And then you spoke about Joe and his fight with KSI because Joe is, I think everyone, everyone loves Joe and because Joe is kind of like an open book in terms yeah. of like heart on his sleeve. He's a very intense individual. Very, so, yeah. yeah. And, very serious. Yes. And, and it, that's exactly what kind of cost him the, the KSI fight in terms of, yeah. and it was very similar to, to your first fight because it was about, it wasn't about him winning or losing. He'd, he'd had the overload yeah. and he'd let himself Internally down. Internally combusted. And what it, what it is, is again, it's ego. It's ego because you, 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 your, your ego can be your biggest enemy. Now, if you are prepared to lose a battle to win a war, you've got to do that. Mm. Give a round away, you know, but not think, I've got to win every second of every round. I've got to do this. Honey. You've got to play the fool to catch the wide. You've got to be able to poke someone and make them think they can do you. Mm. Give them that, that minute. Give them that hour. Give them that day. But then if you can do that, then the sweetest feeling is knowing that you is because of you, they are thinking like that. Because the way you spoke to him was such, you spoke to him with him with such passion mm. about I'll train you. You yeah. like I'll, you I'll made that offer because to I him. Can, I know, I know. I, I when I when he was speaking, I know. I thought I could sort of turn you around because yeah. I, I, I've I met you in me. I've met you in so many different shapes and sizes, and I know exactly what the issue is there. And I said, let me, let me train you. Let me just. But he, he doesn't want it enough. And I and if he does want it enough, I want it. I'm saying to him, look, it's that. Mm. It's that more than anything. You change that, change that mindset. I will turn you into a beast and you will get that fight. If it's just for that one fight, let me just get you ready for that one fight. And, and you, and it will check because that one fight will haunt him for the rest of his life. The stick, the memes he got after that fight will always haunt him, will always hurt him. And he, even if when there's not a camera around and no one's around and someone has a bit of a poke at him about losing the fight, it'll piss him off, yeah. but he'll think, all right. And this will follow him. Remember what I said? If I didn't change my my mindset, every every loss I'd have had would uh, it would have affected my life uh, in every walk, every part of my life. And with Joe, that loss, that 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 criticism, that the effect of after that fight will affect decisions he makes, how he makes those decisions, and it will just it will just make, put him out of tilt. I can put him back on track again. Mm. And this is what I was trying to say to him. Yeah, well, he didn't I, want to hear it. Yeah, did he didn't it? want it. And all I, all I just said to him, look, it just depends on how much you want it. Mm. If you want it enough, we can we can do this. Yeah, anybody can do it, but you just got the right mindset. I feel like with you that there must be such a nice little glow in terms of understanding how your career ended and and therefore how your you know your legacy as a boxer is a really lovely, well rounded mm. story that I, I can enjoy years on when I get to chat to you about it. Um, do you think you would have been okay with your legacy if you'd not won that world title? Uh, Do you think you'd been able to get around it? No, because once I'd gone down that path, some people are born, they know the path in life. Some people know what path they want to get. And some people accidentally fall on that path. I accidentally fell on that path. And so once I once I I'd, I'd understood this is my path in life, you know, it couldn't have been any other way. Um, and what I'm saying is that you don't have to be a world champion you don't have to be a winner you've just got to understand you you've got to believe in you you've got to you've got to not lie to you if you try your hardest win or lose once you've done it you think you know what i gave my all mm. i tried my hardest uh and i was just beaten by the better man or woman in whatever you're doing in life i think if i didn't box god knows what i'd have been um i don't know if it had been a criminal or a cop you know i, I don't know which way they've gone uh but i think through meeting brendan not boxing through meeting brendan the mindset he gave me uh because of him it's made me the man i am today and and that's why i i, I do talk so i talk to kids at schools and colleges i talk to, to businessmen and, and 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 to motivate them to tell them this is possible mm -hmm.